Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Coach Ernie is going to be talking about economic reports so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find the coach's education platform. Enjoy guys. So what this is, is all the or most of the economic reports, I think I have almost all of them. There might be a couple that I'm missing, but there's 45 reports I have here. And then I've ranked them by their potential impact. I say what the report is, what the description is, and then a link to the source for that report. Why do I provide the link? So you can go read it and get, learn more. Yeah. Oh, that's the reason why anybody would get a link right? Yeah. I provide a link so that hopefully you'll go and look at it and start maybe understanding what it's all about. Is that going to help you definitively to make more money? Potentially, yes. But if you don't read it, it's definitely not going to help you. Anyways, yeah, you should be copying this, studying it, paying attention. It should be part of your morning routine. Wait to see what reports come out. The interesting thing about reports is that what is reported on the economic calendars of various places like uh, Forex Factory and other places is what is called the top line number that most of the market is looking at and what the news agencies are looking at and what report on. The interesting thing is sometimes you'll see a top line number that looks bullish for the market, right? and then you get a bearish move or vice versa. You get a, a bearish number and the market goes straight up and you're wondering what the hell's going on here? There are two possible things. One is that you don't understand what the report is all about, that there could be some underlying or not top line numbers, but bottom line components to that number that could indicate the exact opposite of what the top line number is showing you. The other possibility is that because of the wonderful situation that the FOMC has put us in, into this world where we are basically being led by the nose with with a big ring by the FOMC who are trying to control everything that we do in a non-capitalistic environment, quasi-socialist market, that we're, we enter in what's called opposite world. And so opposite world means that when there is a economic report that is showing really positive things objectively for the market, that could be interpreted as negative because the Fed might look at that and say, oh, we have to solve that inflation problem and raise interest rates. Therefore, the market goes down thinking that, oh, the Fed's going to raise interest rates. And the opposite, the other way, if you have a negative number, they might think, oh, that's horrible for the market. But then the market reflects back and say, yeah, but the Fed might cut interest rates. Now, currently, that's typically, that's like normal situation for most part when we're in this sort of rate hike or dropping situation. Right now, we're in a rock, between a rock and a hard place, the proverbial rock and hard place. And what I mean by that is that the Fed is grossly behind the curve when it comes to trying to manage the market with their interest rates. They're almost always behind the curve, but now they're grossly behind it. We just went through incredible inversion of the yield curve for a long time, the longest time ever in recorded history. And now it's starting to steepen, which is a short tell sign that an inverted yield curve is a forecast for a future recession. Once it starts re-steepening after the inversion, that means it's imminent, that the recession is coming. Now we're sitting here with still high inflation and a stagnant or degrading market. Usually high interest rates means the market's going up and low interest rates. The reason why interest rates go down is because we have a bad market. But here we have high inflation means the market is going up. Low inflation and low interest rates usually means that the market is, you get it. They try to lower interest rates to try to stimulate a bad economy. So the only reason they would be lowering interest rates right now is to try to stimulate an economy that is starting to fail. But at the same time, we have high inflation. That's a very unusual situation. That is a term called stagflation. And that's where we're at right now. The worst of all bad situations relative to market direction and inflation. Of course, the news is telling you how great things are because that's their job in the propaganda scheme. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks guys.